Hello everyone, this is Sunshine Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Thor Love and Thunder uh, Armored Thor figure. Uh, so let's go over the packaging here. So um, first we got the Marvel Legends logo here on the top, Thor Love and Thunder logo here in the bottom, just says Thor. Here is the side art of Thor with all of his new armor. Here is the back with that same artwork there, and if you guys want to pause and read that description, you can. Marvel Legends logo here in the top corner. For this wave, we are building Korg. Uh, so right now we are doing Thor. We already did all the other figures in the wave. So we already did Mighty, Thor, Jane Foster Thor, Gore, uh, King Valkyrie, Ravager Thor, Star-Lord, and Groot. Here's the other side if you want to see that. Here is the top with the broken hammer emblem on the top. And then here is the bottom with the DSPI. Besides that, crack them open. And here is the armored Thor out of the package here. So let's go over our accessories first. So first we got a fisted hand that he comes with for his left hand. Um, so you got that gold forearm pad there. Uh, and then you get the black that cuts like very, like way past the knuckles and the thumb there. So yeah, there's that. And then we got Stormbreaker, which we've seen with the Ravenger Thor and the Fat Thor figure. Uh, so yeah, this one doesn't have as much detail as the uh, Ravenger Thors though, and like I said, I don't like the the this Stormbreaker a whole lot just because this is way too skinny, and I feel like it'll just break, so it's pretty fragile because it bends pretty easily. So that's one thing I'm worried about with this. But yeah, you get this like uh, gray here, and then you get the brown for the branch and uh, branch handle for him. So. Yeah, not the biggest fan of this type of uh, Stormbreaker. I recommend the, I prefer the um, the one from Infinity War. And then he, that's all we got for accessories. He does not come with a Korg uh, piece because we already did all of them with the other figures. So here is Thor up close. So here is his new helmet. Not the biggest fan of the helmet, but you still see his beard. Uh, you get the gold helmet with some blue around the wings area. The eyes and up the head it's around the mouth area too and you get a little bit of mouth opening there and then you get the hair f like flying flowing in the wind in the back there which is usually not the best for articulation for the head i will say that for sure it just goes all over the place you got the nice blonde dirty blonde look to it though which is not bad and then you get this nice rich red uh cape here which is huge so i like that it's pretty cool and then you get these shoulder pads that have like the blue and the gold trim around them or around along the edges. And then you some, get some gold, gold around the chest area. You get some blue, shiny blue on the collar area here. Uh, there's a lot of painting details in here, which is awesome. You get some blue around the black circle areas here at the ends of the cape. Also circle area here. Nice blue detailing here, some gray plates going on through there and then you get this gold part here near the belt and waist and you get the skirt skirt piece with the scales with the blue that looks really good and you get this like gunmetal gray part here in the skirt uh some black and you get the gold sleeves they're pins so i think these are the ones that are from these arms are from the uh thor ragnarok 10 year anniversary marvel studios figure i believe um and then here you got the forearm guards with some blue and gold there. You get some red around the wrists, some blue. And then you get the uh, the Stormbreaker holding the hand with the fingerless cutoffs that cut way past the knuckles. And then a the gold plate there. And then here's the other side with that same stuff going on. But this one's like a grasping hand or holding out hand. I don't know what to explain for that one. Uh, and then you get the black pants here with the scales sculpted in there. And then you get these knee pads that are really pointed there, which is really cool though. You get some nice gold around the edges, some blue, some uh, dark black there. And then you get the gold scales on the calves here, which is really cool. And then you get some blue in there, some gold still, some gold on the front part of the foot. 
and then some black around the soles here. So yeah, same deal on the other side. And here's the back, lift it up. Still get some painting in the back there, so that's good. Some gold around the uh, waist there. And then yeah, so that's all we got for the looks. Let's go over the articulation for this guy now. So he has a double wall joint in the head. It goes down that far, does not go up. Left and right movement, mm, little head pivoting. Shoulders move out that far. No 360 because that shoulder piece just gets in the way there, but you can go up that far. Uh, bicep swivel, double jointed uh, knee elbows. I don't know why I said I was about the knees. Uh, and then wrist hinge down that far, up that far. 360 rotation there. He has a ball joint at the diaphragm, so it goes forward just that far. Backwards that far, side to side movement, some twisting. Legs kick out that far, forward that far, backwards none. Thigh cut, double jointed knees, also pinless by the way. Ankles hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. And that is the armored Thor figure for you. Um, I think this guy is pretty cool. I think just the head sculpt really throws me off because of that helmet. That helmet I don't really like too much. Uh, also, I don't like the the Stormbreak too much either, just because of like of how skinny it is. I feel like it's gonna break pretty easily and everything. So yeah, um, I feel like a lot of people dislike how the suit looked just because of the blue, but I think it's an interesting choice. I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. I just need to see it in the movies to kind of tell. But yeah, I don't think it's horrible, uh, just for you know that color wise. But like they nailed it from the movie, so it's pretty good. Uh, I can't get pissed at Hasbro for the color or anything like that. But like I said, it's a pretty cool figure. It's huge. Um, yeah, I don't really have any problems with it besides the head. That hair in the back just kind of throw it, like, it messes with the head movement a lot. So, you can barely move it besides, like, side to side, and that's really it. Um, but yeah, that's all I really got for this figure. I do recommend you get him. Like, he's pretty cool. But I feel like he's going to be one of the stock figures, like, peg warmer figures at some point. So, maybe hold off on it for right now. It does not come with any pieces for Korg. But we'll see how it all goes. I know Walmart's just putting these out. So right now they're a little hard to find. So if you want to try res try reselling it, we'll see. But I don't know. Kind of depends right now. But yeah, that's all I got for this figure. Uh, if you guys want a more brief review and everything on that, you go ahead and check out my TikTok. I do like two, two and a half, three minute videos for all these figures and just kind of speed around it. So... Uh, yeah, that's all I really got. So if you want to help support me on those accounts, go ahead and do that in the link tree in my description. But that's all I got. So thanks for watching. <laughs>